The final gallery in our OSS exhibit is dedicated to Donovan's office. In the photo above the desk, Donovan is actually seated at this desk. This was his desk when he was director. OSS headquarters was down at 2430 E Street in a series of buildings. Donovan's office itself was in the East building of that complex. Donovan was the most highly decorated American officer of World War I and the only American to receive our nation's highest four medals, which are the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, Distinguished Service Medal, and the National Security Medal. For his Medal of Honor, Donovan was in France. It's 1918. He's there with the Fighting 69th out of New York. They're near San Mihel. They've received an order to pull back, and instead, Donovan stands up in front of his men with his rank showing. He's lieutenant colonel at the time. He says, men, look at me. They can't hit me, they can't hit you. And he led his men to take the German position. They're under attack on three sides. He's eventually wounded the leg, but he refuses to be evacuated from the battlefield until his men and the position are secure. In about five days of action, his battalion, a thousand strong, had 600 casualties dead and wounded. He never forgot the sacrifice of his 600. And when he became director of the OSS, he insisted that his telephone extension be 600. On his desk, you'll see a sort of Sears and Roebuck style catalog. It's called the OSS Weapons Catalog, a piece that Stanley Lovell's group generated in 1942 that went out to different OSS bases and stations around the world. So depending on your operational pace, you could pick so many Bino grenades or so many Liberator pistols or so many uh, acetone cellulose delay devices or so many uh, 22 caliber pen guns, so many high standards, whatever you needed for your operational pace, you could find it in this catalog.